Let me just show you the layout before I begin. That's my brother smart oven there, y'all. Now, before we begin, I just want to give you a little history of me and um, these uh, convection ovens. I first had a regular uh, Oster oven. I think it was like $30 from Walmart. Then I upgraded to a large um, Oster oven. I think it was like black and silver. Then I upgraded to the French door extra large oven. Then I upgraded to this, the Breville Smart Oven Air. Well, in 2019, I present to you guys the June Oven. Look at this, guys. And this is a panel right here, touch screen. We'll get to that. Just showing you around. This thing is not light. I promise you it's not. It's not super heavy, but it is not light. That's the top right there. Pretty much that's it there cord is is decent decent nice it's longer than average all right I like that let's go ahead and open it up What is that right there? Huh. You find out they be taking pictures. Now I'm gonna tell y'all off gate that this machine ran me 600 and change, 620 with tax. This machine was in 2017. Um, this machine was about, I think over $1,200. And they, they dropped the price a lot. And I had my eye on it since then, but I was like, I'm not paying $1,200 for any machine in my kitchen, period. Um, but $600 I thought was fair for me, for my cooking channel, as a, you know, a reward to my cooking channel. And just for me in general, I'm always into the newest things. And to me, to me, to Cooking with Doug, this is the best uh, smart oven that you can buy today, in my opinion. So this is, doesn't sell at Walmart or Target or QVC or HSN or Finger Hut. You have to buy this directly from the company. And to give you an example, if you're looking to buy this, which is great if you are, um, I bought this a week before Thanksgiving and I'm just getting it yesterday. And I think yesterday was January 10th, if I'm not mistaken. I might be wrong, whatever day that what yesterday was. But yeah, it took like two months to get it. So it's going to take like a month to get to you. So just keep that in mind. Let's plug it in for the first time. See what happens. Well, I don't see anything happening. I did plug it in. Oh, it took a second. Now this um, works with Alexa. This oven connects to your Wi-Fi, which is completely pimp-like. And we're going to get into all of that now. I just want to let you know that. And we'll, we'll, um, we'll bring over the accessories in a second. But to me, in the you know, unboxing of the machine like this, this is the cooler part. We'll, we'll, I'll show you the other pieces that it comes with a little later. That's not important. <laughs> All right, I don't know what I'm doing here. I guess I'll press that, I guess. Okay, cool. So let me go ahead and get this set up. I'll be right back. You like that, right? That's, 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 that's crazy right there.
So I'm connected and it's down now downloading updates. So while that's downloading, I want to show you the, I guess, manual. June. Perfect. Perfectly easy, actually. So, yes, this is the page I wanted to show you guys or just um, run off what it can do. So this, this, this oven can bake, roast, toast, broil, slow cook, air fry, dehydrate, reheat and keep warm all right it's telling me to now connect to the app so let's go ahead and do that all right so there's a um an app for your android or apple devices so i'm assuming it's this so let's go ahead and click it and we're going to go ahead and click install The do it all oven. I like that. The app gives you a code which you have to punch into the oven so it can so so it's already connected to my Wi-Fi, so this will further connect it to the machine with this code that the app gives you. All right, so I'm connected. <clears throat> Get inspired with new guided rec guided recipes. Wow, look at that, guys! It's showing me how to do stuff on the screen. Ready to cook. Now, if you didn't have a cell phone, it there's a way to um, it says skip, so I guess you can bypass that. So you don't have to have a cell phone to use this to operate this oven. It just makes it a whole lot easier. But I'm assuming if you have $600 to spend on an oven, I'm pretty sure, yeah, you get it. Your June oven can send timely notifications to your device. Wow. Nice. I know some of you will ask that. It doesn't really matter to me, but you have a 12 month a uh, 12 month limited warranty so I guess I'm going to activate it now since yeah let's go ahead and jump to my um, Amazon Alexa app alright so we got the June app here we'll set that up enable to use alright so this is what it generally this is what it looks like once you you um do all your updates and i do want to show you one other thing that you have to do with your echo um device um before i forget but i just wanted to show you this i'll get back to that you have to come to your devices right you hit devices and anytime you're adding a device to this you would hit plus and then it'll ask you to put um the code in once you hit connect app but i'll put later and then I'll just go back. I just wanted to show you guys how to do that. So now that it's connected, let me just give it a test run. Turn off June oven. Okay, here's June oven. Your oven's already off. Pretty good. All right, so let's open this up. This is looking like the crumb tray, I think, but we'll find out. I'm liking the finish. Looks nice. Not lightweight at all. In fact, I would say this is the heaviest crumb tray that I've ever owned. All right, guys, this is the wired rack. This is the roasting rack. And um, this is an aluminum pan. Of course, it's nonstick. And last but not least, this white box here, do not throw it out because it'll, it'll come like this and you'll think it's like, you know, maybe something to keep everything together. But no, you, you need to open that box for sure because this is your food thermometer or meat thermometer, whatever. 
and this this side connects into the oven you just plug it in isn't that cool guys but that's all you get now I do have a um, I think it's called a dehydrated uh, dehydrator baskets which you can use to air fry as well that is on the way um, but that's that's pretty much it that I got with the oven that you would get with the oven unless you order the extra extra ex accessories what I do like about the June um, website um, it, it not only has their um, accessories but it also shows you what's compatible what will fit into the June oven on the website like you can buy it on Amazon and stuff so I, I like that too so um, it gives you a little bit of flexibility just in case if you think their stuff is a little expensive they give you an Amazon alternative right on the website which I thought was pin black oh now that everything is um, all set and uh, updated now a light comes on when I open it didn't do that before so let's check out where the lights coming from it's not on the sides there it goes with that camera again okay I see you see it up there those two lights all right I like that so I'm gonna go ahead and insert my crumb tray sorry about that guys all right that's in now I'm going to insert my wire rack now it only comes with one one wire rack like this now you can buy more on the website but you're only getting one so just to be clear you, it comes with a wire rack and a roast rack that's that's all the racks you're getting again you can get more on the uh, website as well man this feels nice and smooth I would have thought if I, I would have thought this was ceramic but it feels nice and smooth it's definitely non-stick so smooth I probably won't even put it in my dishwasher I'm gonna hand wash that bad boy all right so let me close it and see what happens okay guys you're not gonna believe this I promise you you're not all right so you see you see the panel there and it shows the time and programs and all that stuff we don't see anything right just the normal okay so I, I just have to just show you so I'm gonna open it up okay now I already tried this and and what I'm about to show you I saw someone do it, but I thought they were spreading rumors. It's not a rumor. So I, I just came from Sam's Club. I bought some bread because I wanted to try this out. So I'm going to put two pieces of bread in there. One, two. And then I'm going to close it. Watch the panel. Shut the front door, y'all. Shut the front freaking door. You see that? It knows I put bread in there. How did it know that? That camera up top. That's pretty. Yeah. So what does this say? Let me. Toast directly on wire. Oh. Okay. So it's it's telling me what to do. But I don't want to do that though. That's messy. But okay. Fine. Hold on. Okay. I believe it said to position it to the middle so I did that and huh. so let's close it back and what are we saying so let me go back and hit bread make sure swipe to browse tips toast directly on wire shelf use middle shelf did that okay so I'll hit continue. So I want to make sure I'm good. Okay, so you guys can see. Sorry about that. So toast medium. Mm, more options. What are more options? Preference. Holy two slices. Uh, I'm gonna go. Yeah, let's go medium. Yeah, we can go medium. That's fine. We'll go back. Come on, go back. Yeah. Toast medium. Okay. 
It's on, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if I can get a better view. Yeah. And so you see the time right there. I'm gonna do. Uh, I'll. I'll make something else. Maybe two other things. We'll start off with toast. Now, guys, stay tuned. Keep it locked here. I am going to run through this machine. I'm gonna do the air fry, air fryer uh, mode. Not now. Later. Later in the week or next week. I'm gonna dehydrate. I'm gonna slow cook. I'm gonna do all of that. Now, I watched other videos. Sometimes your time skips because it's monitoring the progress of your food so if it's going ahead of schedule then it will adjust the time there now from my understanding because this is a you know a, a Wi-Fi enabled machine um, they uh, send fe feedback to the company um, on different things that people cook like for instance, I can make something and send feedback through this machine to the company and they gather all of that up and then what works, they send back to the machines as a preset. So we're gonna get into that in other videos as well. But this this is completely awesome. It's fogging up a little, but that's okay. All right, so let me, let me pause it and get back when it's done. Shout out to my Kitchen Gadgets group on Facebook one time. Nice. I can add 30 seconds. No, nope, I'll just hit finish. Cool. So let's open it up and see what we got. Now, thank goodness I didn't put dark now because that would have been. This is how I like it. Sam's exclusive, y'all, garlic butter. It's the bomb. Wait a minute. This is a $600 machine. Let me go ahead and get my plate. <laughs> I'm just going to smear some on, and then we'll have a bite together. And then I'll make something else Conclude and conclude this video. put too too much yeah have a bite with me spread it better all right I'll spread it better got it take that part that's but is good man gonna make you slap somebody. Yeah, Sam's trying to find it. Right, I got some beef patties from Sam's. We're gonna make it in there. That this will be my final test for today in my unboxing. And you know, later in the week, um, or probably on the weekend, we'll we'll just dive in. And guys, leave leave in the comments what you want to see me make in this as well. I'll take some of your guys' suggestions. All right, guys. So. Um, Instructions say to do this, preheat the oven and do it for about 15 minutes or something like that. So I'll, I'll, I'll do it for 15, but I'm going to check it probably at 12 just to make sure, right? So let me get these open and, in fact, let me show you something, Pimplek. You ready? Preheat my June oven at 400. Okay, here's June oven. Okay, baking. Come on, ma'am. Do y'all see that? Did you just see what just happened? <laughs> Come on, man. Okay, so we're at 400. This took about your, your average uh, four to six minutes. I don't know exactly. But let me go ahead and put my stuff in there. Try and put it in the middle. And we'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. 
set timer on June oven for 14 minutes. June oven timer, 14 minutes, starting now. All right, guys, you're not even going to believe this. I can't even make this up. I'm going to click into the app, y'all. Ready to cook. So it's already mimicking um, the time, right? You see that, right? Bake at 400. It's been going for six minutes. If I hit live video, you're not even going to believe this. <laughs> Edit cook settings. What's that? Wow. Man. One question let me ask for you guys. Answer for you guys. Does this get hot? Yes. It's a little hotter than warm, but not like ouch hot. But yes, it definitely gets warm. I wouldn't rest anything on the top of this. This part is not bad, but the top. Yeah. All right, guys. So on my Echo Amazon Echo Show, we got about five seconds left. Now, if that turns that off, let's see if it does that. Your June oven timer is done. Okay. So it didn't turn it off. So it'll just tell me to turn it off. Okay. Cool. Your June oven timer is done. All right. So how do I turn this off? Cancel cooking. All right. Smelling good, man. Mm, mm, mm. I just had some cocoa bread. Oh, right, guys. I'm just going to cut it in half and see what we're working with. See the nice and flaky and crunchy. Get that. I'll let it cool off and we'll have a bite. And for those who never had a beef patty, the Jamaican beef patty, it's just ground beef seasoned, Caribbean style. Probably has some allspice, a little dash of some scotch bonnet peppers in there, you know, onions and all that good stuff, green onions or scallions, whatever you call it. That's all it is. So let's have a bite. Got it? All right. Mmm. Man, that is good. That is good. Mm. Well, that about does it for my um, test so far. There's one thing I do want to show you. Where you insert the uh, meat thermometer. I forgot to show you that. It's on the left side. I'm going to show you that in one second. Let me finish this. Let me put it in there for the first time and see what, see what it says. Put it in, and I'm just going to leave it like that, and close it, let's see what it says. Nope, didn't say anything. Okay, that's fine. Well, let's hit program. Let's, let's go through that before we go. All right. Vegetables, seafood, poultry, meat, frozen food, baked foods. Can I scroll? Oh, there's more. Toast, leftovers, fruit, nuts. All right, exit out of that. Let's go to bake. Okay, how high, how high can we go? How high can we go? How low can we go? How low can we go? Okay. Um, Rose. How high can we go? How low can we go? Okay. Let's go to slow cook. Do we have high and low? Let's go to continue. Yes, we do. All right, let's get out of there. Uh, let's go to broil. Oh, let's broil, huh? Stop broiling. Uh, we don't need to do that. Toast we did already. Air fry. You know what? Just for fun. Yeah, so these are on the way to me. Those are the dehydrate baskets. So how high can we air fry? 500. How low can we air fry? Ha! 100. Let's just see what happens when I put, we're going to 
since we're big fans of air frying, let's see what, how it sounds when I air fry. Food temp. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's a game changer. Game changer. So I got the food temperature thingy in there. The food um, thermometer. The meat thermometer. And so you see that there. But anywho, let's continue on. Um, where we start? Oh, air fryer. So we got dehydrate. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, like I said. So the dehydrate uh, baskets or trays or whatever or work for your air fryer as well. And I think you get like two of them. Or three of two or three of them. You'll see that on the website. Um, so reheat. Set thermometer, blah blah blah. Okay. And keep warm. I like that feature. Let's go over Whole Foods. I don't know what that means. I know that's a s oh wow. Okay. So I guess these are branded Whole Foods stuff and it just knows how to make it? Okay, well, we'll we'll dive into that another time because I know I'm just like killing you guys. Devices, we did that already. Cleaning, what does that mean? Too hot to clean. Let oven cool down. I understand. Okay, cool. Thank you for telling me how to clean it. Uh, ooh, okay. Okay. I could dig it. Let's go over settings one more time. Oh. Yeah, general sounds, clock, Wi-Fi, data sync, maintenance. Is there anything else about? Let's go to about. Let's see what about says. My oven, yeah, about my oven. Oh, okay. Nothing really to look at. All right, guys. Go back home. Okay, so we're back at my Breville. I bought this little copper shep mat for my Breville, and I'm going to do the same thing for my um, June oven. You're probably not supposed to do it, but, you know, I paid $600 for this oven. And, I mean, you know, for my June oven, paid 400 for this Breville. And I will not, I'm not going to, I'm going to be as careful as possible. So, that's what I'm going to do. So, when you see me with mine... It's probably not what you're supposed to do, but I'm going to do it because I shan't. All right, guys. Well, let's say uh, goodbye to my Breville oven. You know, 2018, you was the bomb. You were the best oven out there in my eyes. You're still a great oven. Um, definitely top three for sure. No, actually two. So... I'm going to sing a little song. It's so hard to say goodbye. By the way, I'll be um, selling this, uh, my Breville, to someone in my Kitchen Gadgets group. I'll sell it to them for $50, which will cover the shipping through FedEx. And, um, yeah. Let me do some cleaning over there for our new home. I, yeah, her name is going to be June. June Oven. I ain't going to give her another name. Her name is June. All right, so let's try this again. Look at that. Nice. Okay, and real quick, I'm just going to go. Um, I'm at the uh, June website, and this is the cookbook. Um, I'm just going to scroll down some. Let's Let's click that real quick. And it just shows you how to make a recipe right here. I don't know why it says free. I guess some of I don't know. Maybe some of them charge. I don't know. Start cooking. And it'll go through the... Oh. You even have a visual. All right. So that's an example of the cookbook and whatnot. So I'll let you guys dive into that and look at that at your own time. But... Anywho, just thanks for um, looking at my unboxing um, and my first look at this machine. I think it's it's definitely worth um, you know at least five hundred dollars, six hundred dollars. Ah, I'm I'm okay with that. Um, this is definitely a step above anything that I've ever seen as far as a, a you know a smart oven, I mean, or a convection oven, or whatever. Um, if you have 
the funds to buy something like this, I would def and you're a tech person, right? You have your uh your Amazon devices, your Wi-Fi and all that stuff. You're into stuff like that. This is definitely your machine. It's not for everybody, but I love it so far. Um, and I, keep it locked here. I'll be doing a lot more videos on this. And again, put in the comments what you want to see me uh, make. But let me go ahead and stop this and upload it because I know some folks want to go ahead and see this video. And um, that's all I got. Hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. And if anything, thanks for even looking at my video. And guys, follow me on Instagram um, at Cooking with Doug. Um, I post all the new gadgets that I get and um, some of the things that I cook in them. All right? See you on the next video. Yo.